So the Chinese Museum is incredibly excited to have this new addition to our collection and indeed to our displays, this beautiful uh, Qing Dynasty bed. It's been quite a while in coming. There's been a lot of planning involved in order to get the bed in place and find a place for it in the museum. Yesterday we spent the day pulling the bed apart in the donor's uh, bedroom and wrapping each of the over 50 pieces individually uh, wrapped and labelled and uh, delivered to the museum. And then we spent today pulling it all together again. So it's like an enormous 3D jigsaw puzzle. One of the, the beautifully elegant things about Chinese uh, woodwork and craftsmanship, there are no nails in this bed at all. There's just a very minimal use of glue, and so everything slots in with the interlocking joints. There's a few things I love about the bed. The, the first thing that I love is I think it's a beautiful bed. I love the, the balance between the very simple lines and simple decorations like these versus the incredible detail that you have here where there are, there are little stories being performed in the, in the decoration. The symbols that we have identified are all about longevity, marital happiness, they're about good fortune. They're the sorts of things that you would imagine associated with a bed such as this. So what do we know about the history of this bed? It came to Australia, we believe, probably sometime in the 19th century, maybe the early 20th century, but probably the 19th century. And we believe it was brought to Tasmania by a sea captain. And this sea captain had been working, um, trading between Tasmania and Canton. He was transporting um, sand, something to do with making porcelain. When he decided to retire, he was given this beautiful bed and brought it back with him to Tasmania where he had it set up in his house. He eventually died. The house and all the contents of the house were bought by a man who also lived in Tasmania called Colin Self. And he also, we believe, slept in the bed. The bed ended up actually in the cow shed of the uh, property. I assume in lots of little bits. And that was where an art dealer from Melbourne discovered the bed and purchased the bed and brought it back to Melbourne, sold it to the family that have donated it to us, uh, Jill and Frank Jones. They set it up in their beautiful house, in their bedroom, and they slept in it for 40 years, over 40 years. One of the things that's very beautiful about this bed is that even though it's very Chinese, it's actually had a very intimate space in a number of Australians' lives.